In this video, we're going to look at how to multiply or expand polynomials. So for example, you may be asked or you may for some reason need to multiply something like this. 2x plus 3 times, oh, why did I write that twice? All right, times x squared plus 4x minus 5. Alright, so if you're asked to multiply this or expand it, that means that everything in this will have to be multiplied by everything in this. So there are different ways you can organize your information. You can, um, you can really just do each and every one or you can um, have some system that you work out. So I'm just going to show you just by doing each and every one. So everything gets multiplied by 2x in the other parentheses. So let's do that first. Uh, so we have 2x times x squared gives us 2x to the third because as you know x to the one times x squared is x to the third. Alright so we did that last unit. I'm sure you're good. Alright plus 2x times 4x gives us plus 8x squared. And finally, for the red part that we just had, had gave the arrows to, we have 2x times negative 5, which gives us negative 10x. All right, now let's use black and now multiply everything by 3. So we have 3 times the first thing, 3 times the next thing, and 3 times the last thing. So we're just multiplying everything by 3. And so we have 3 times x squared gives us 3x squared. We have 3 times 4x, which gives us plus 12x. And finally, we have 3 times negative 5, which gives us negative 15. All right, so now it's time to join all like terms. So everything with an x cube, I'm gonna give a little blue check. And there's only one thing with an x cubed. So we can just rewrite that as two x to the third. There are no other like terms there. So now everything with a x squared, let's give a red check. We have an x squared there, an x squared there, and no more x squared. All right, so I am going to now add my two like terms with the x squared. That's 8x squared plus 3x squared, which gives us 11x squared. All right, anything with just an x, I'm going to give a little black check mark. We have a negative 10x, we have a positive 12x, and nothing else. Okay, so negative 10x plus 12x gives us plus 2x. All right, and finally, numbers without x, I will circle, and there's only one of them. So we can just rewrite that, and now that is our expression multiplied. All right. Let's do a slightly easier one. So I'm working backwards here and I'm going from hard to a little bit easier. Um, and the reason is because I want to show you something that we call FOIL, foiling an expression. Okay, so you may have heard people say, oh, I'm going to FOIL that expression. Um, and that sounds really funny, but it's just an acronym for remembering to multiply everything in one expression by the other. So this will work, foiling will work if you have two expressions in one parenthesis and two expression. I'm sorry, two terms in one parenthesis and two terms in the other parenthesis. Then we can quote unquote foil it. All right, so what does that mean? Well, the F means first, the O means outer, the I means inner, and the L means last. So our first term here is 2n, and our first term here is n. 
So our first multiplication should be 2n times n. So 2n times n should give us 2n squared. Now outer, the outer term in the first parentheses, 2n, the outer term in the next parentheses, 8. They're on the outside. So to multiply our outer terms, we get 2n times 8, which is 16n. All right, now time to do the inner terms. So they're inside. They're next to each other. And so we have negative 3 times n, which gives us minus 3n. And finally, we can do the last terms. The last term in this parenthesis multiplied by the last term in this parenthesis. So it's our negative 3 times our 8. And so our last term is negative 24. All right, so now that we have our first, our outer, our inner, and our last terms, we can join like terms as we did before. And this is actually a little simpler than it was before. So we have just the 16n and the negative 3n that's like. Everything is just a rewrite. So we're rewriting 2n squared, and we're rewriting the 24, and we're joining those two like terms in the middle and so 16n minus 3n gives us plus 13n. And that's what people mean when they say they're going to FOIL an expression.